Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fashion Nation, and I did turn that off, but now we got the sun. Oh, well, at least the sun's out, right? That's always good. Anyway, today is the day to light a candle and tell you who my winners are. So, first of all, let's light this candle if it'll light. <laughs> So I did let this candle called Rose Vanilla from Sin City Sips and Candles cure for exactly two weeks. Now as I'm doing this video we will wait for this wick to go down and uh, melt the candle. So we'll put that right here on the desk far enough away from the sewing machine. Always remember that. So anyway gonna do you a look a good um smoky eye something really outside my box more than usual let me recheck how far i actually have the candle away from my machine um always remember to be careful um with your candles now i am wearing a pair of pants that i made yes Lately, I've been tailoring my own look. So today I am using the iconic Jeffree Star Blood Collection palettes just to do this eye look and knock it out of the park. What I did use is the Kalen Cosmetics eye pot on my eye. There's no pot on my eye, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do first is I am going to go into the blood sugar palette. You guys are like, oh, jeez, is this whole Jeffree Star thing? Yes, today it is. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, see, this is where I need my glasses. I'm telling you guys, can't do an eye look and try to look and. Fresh meat. Going into the fresh meat. Yes. I'm going to get some fresh meat on my eye. Now see, I can do this in any other way. But you see, like, I just want to put that, like, see, like, right here. And I'm not pressing it too much because... It only takes a little bit of that on your brush, basically, for both. Now, again, I have both of my cameras going. So, um, one is for Instagram, and the other one, of course, is for my YouTube. Now, if you ever notice with your brushes, like if they like do something weird a little bit, just, and I don't have any fallout right now because I actually wet my brush. I wet my brushes. And now just take your blending brush, just kind of blend that up. And I know I said I'm doing a smoky eye. I am, but I'm also incorporating some red into this. Um, and I'm doing this for a specific reason. I want people to understand. Like, I'm using fresh meat. And then I'm going to go into coma. And then I will put this palette down and go on to the blue blood. And you might wonder, why am I doing it this way today? Well, I just want to show you guys how you can transition a look. Now, if you're paying attention to how I'm doing this, 
take it right into your crease and bring it up like this. And no, I haven't done my eyebrows yet, but I will get to my eyebrows. Now you guys know the one device, I can't pause it and it that doesn't bother me. That, that absolutely, that doesn't bother me. Okay, now who are my giveaway winners while I'm doing this look, right? So I'm gonna put this one down in case I do need to come back to that one anyway. Um, well, they each have a white shade. Um, I could always come back to this one if I don't go back to that one. And uh, out of this one, I am going to pick up The Undertaker. I'm going to pick up The Undertaker. There you go. <laughs> yes. Pick a little bit up. And just take that and go out. Be very creative with how you make a smoky eye. Now, this one, of course, is a dark blue. Everybody knows that out of this palette. This is why this is the blue blood. This is that, it's so deep navy blue, that's serious. Look, I'm going out of my comfort zone just to do this look for you guys, that you guys wouldn't realize that, oh shit, you know, Shark can pull this look off. And then just blend it and blend it like right there in the corner. Now, why am I doing a darker look today? Because I also want to show you that with his iconic palettes, you can pull off all sorts of smoky looks with an eyeshadow. And um, we'll put that one down. And then we're coming over here to um, the bloodlust. Um, okay, back to who is my winners, right? As I go into this palette. Well, winner number one is Giggles Giggles. Congratulations, girl, on uh, winning. She's awesome. I will leave a link to her channel in the description box for YouTube. Um, okay. What am I going to do here? I just want to have fun with this. Because girls just want to have fun. <laughs> yeah, we do. So, um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I shall go into Blood Queen. I'm going into Blood Queen. I haven't used that one yet. And just pop it right there. Pop that one right there. Just, you see how that just like that does change the eye. Again, you can blend that one with the blue and the red tones. And just pop that in there. Oh my gosh. And it's so cool just to be able to do this and go outside the box. Ooh, and I can smell that candle. Oh my gosh. The candle, of course, as you know, Sin City Soaps and Candles. Um, I know. Shara's going very goth today. And I will leave in my link up here for Sin City Soaps and Candles um, to their channel. And I will put my affiliate link for 20% off your entire purchase at any time with Sun City Soaps and Candles. And now I'm going into Executioner. And yes, I am going to use my blending brush for this. So we go into Executioner. As you see, there's no fallout. 
and I'm just going to take Executioner right here and execute this look. Guys are like, dang, Shark, you've never done this before. Well, you know what? Actually, I have done looks like this before, but I only generally keep that to my uh, 31 looks of Halloween. And like I said, today we are actually going outside the box. Let me clean this brush. I keep a uh, one of the beauty blenders to like clean my brushes on lately. And um, okay, Mark, otherwise known as Aryan Glitz is winner number two of my giveaway. And Isabella Throne, otherwise she has on Instagram and Facebook, Rival B. And she sells clothes. She sells clothes. Um, okay, what am I going to pop in the middle here? I think I am going to go with Pink magic. So I could go with beauty sleep. Pop that right there. You know what? Let me do that. Let me go with beauty sleep. Pop that right there. See that? Pop that right there with some beauty sleep. Yes, I have really gone outside my box today. Um, for this look because look we can all do a look on a given day alright but we can snatch a look at any time that we seriously want um, and then I'm going to pop a little bit of wet jewel right here next to it And we're still going to have a smoky eye. I know this is drag queen looking, but it's not my normal. Oh, that candle smells wonderful. You know, Nicole, I am really glad that we talked about this candle. Now I'm going to take a little wet jewel and pink magic. And just kind of like blend that. Just gonna kind of blend that together. Kind of, I I like I enjoy his shades. I really do. So we'll put this one down, and we'll figure out which white we want to use. Um, again, you know, I notice a little pattern in his stuff, like right there. Um, oh, my time for, uh, Instagram is almost up. So let me pause Instagram real quick. And we'll continue on here because we have no choice. Um, but as you notice, like these blend really, really well. And like I said, you know, I'm really going outside my comfort zone on doing these. Um, now, you guys know I don't normally do these looks. Um, would I consider doing more looks like this in the future? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Um, but maybe not so heavy on the eye unless I'm doing my 31 looks of Halloween. I think we all have a little goth left in us, if we've ever been goth. And, um, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, 
So here's the thing. Um, let's see. Fabric Mart is having a challenge. I'm joining that. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I have some vintage patterns coming to me from Europe soon. I'll let you guys know when those get here. Um, obviously, because I normally, like, like this look. Okay, <laughs> I normally don't do a look like this, but for you guys, I'm doing a smoky eye. Okay, and then... Let me do my other eyeliner, which would be the tip on the other side of this. There we go. Now, why am I using the Jeffree Star palettes today? Well, quite frankly, I don't dip into them enough. And I do plan on purchasing his new one. How different that is. Wing that eye. Oh, I know whose eye color this is. Oh my god. You know what? He likes Morticia. For the Adams family. But you know who I love? Lillian Munster. I love Lillian Munster. Oh my gosh. I just thought about this. This is her eye look. Yes, this is Lillian Monsters. I look like when you saw the monsters in color. And I've met Butch Patrick. Um, he also has two YouTube channels. Um. I'll see if YouTube let me stay connected. <laughs> if not, I'll go on my Facebook and let him know. I did this look today. It reminds me of your uh, TV mom. I think I told you guys the story on how I met Butch. I haven't met his wife yet. She seems to be such a lovely person. Um, I should check on Butch anyway. So I'm going to go in with the blue eye pencil. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can turn it back on. So now that I have the um kaylin cosmetics eyeliner winged on my eyes i'm going to go in with that blue eyeliner that i got in my most recent slay glam and just like right in in the waterline oh yeah very iconic very iconic oh my gosh like are we loving the for something that's stepping out way outside the box for me I think it's kind of cool. I do. I think it's kind of cool. So 
let me pause Instagram again because I already went over. I already went over my Instagram time. Um, so, let's keep this one rolling. Um, so, unfortunately, I think I'll just go ahead and turn off Instagram. I went over my time for Instagram. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry Instagram, you need to fix that time limit issue. <laughs> it needs a time limit issue. Um, I did braid my hair early this morning, but I do such a tight braid, I don't need anything at the end of it. So, no, I quite frankly don't need anything at the end of it. I know more people will say that I look like Morticia than my favorite monster of them all. Um, <laughs> absolutely. I get told I look like Morticia anyway, so that doesn't bother me. Um, another thing I'm going to do is just go ahead, go in pick something up and lay it on my cheek and of course that will be out of the bloodlust so we're going to take just a little bit of wet jewel and lay that right in there oh no some of the other color got to it but you know what I'm not mad at that this was meant to be a darker look today um I'll just take that on my finger, pop that on my cheek, and I'm not mad at that. Like, wow. I kind of figured out the little puzzle within his palettes for his new palette. And, you know, he's had that palette in the works. Like, people, he has had that in the works. Oh, okay. I just picked up Your Majesty, which laid down real nice. And popped that over that other color. And you see how, like, that just brings that out. Like, you could play in his palette all mother freaking day and get some serious, iconic looks. I mean, this man is a freaking genius when it comes down to cosmetics. Like, like let's say, um, because you guys know I used to line my brow with this. I could just take that right over it, right? And look, if you dig in the palette, that's the only time it gets all dusty like that. And then you just pop a little bit of that over that brow and take a little bit under the eye, just underneath that blue. And that totally changes color right here. And that just totally changes your eyeliner. So why did I do a giveaway? Well, a lot of people are having a lot of skincare issues at the moment. So I figured, do you know what? I have a plethora of skincare and I still do. And I'm going to get more. You guys are like, wow, you just like, your eyes never really look like this. That's right. My eyes never really look like this. Um, Take a little bit more of that blue eyeliner and just bring it out like that. And like basically there's your look. Do you see how much that just changes the eye? And I didn't even put on a lip color. I don't feel like I need one. I'm not going anywhere. Um, and even if I did, I only have one lip color right now 
but I can change up that lip color very simply because this is a simple look. Uh, you guys might not think it's all that simple. It's so simple that I can take this, right? Use one of these mirrors. Go like that and just put that away. And then, um, just basically, I'm gonna clean this. Like, this is why I keep this beauty blender, like, right here. I could just, like, clean up my brushes anymore. <laughs> and just simply take that and take a color out of here and just simply pop that on the lip. So, since I'm doing a dark look today, we're going back into Executioner. And you can execute. A beautiful look and I know Jeffree Star has about this color for a lip color I could totally just wear this. And then if you really wanted to, you could just take one of the softer colors, pop that in the middle, and there you go. Basically, I went back into Wet Jewel. Always change out your finger if you can do this because that's not such a happy accident. Um, trust me. Um, so, yes, yes, my three winners a look, a candle lighting, some announcements for you know things coming up. I did speak to Fabric Mart today about their mystery fabric. They may actually keep mystery fabric going. I think that's an awesome idea. I plan on purchasing more of this. I know I totally look like a vampire, but you know what? I'm kind of loving this. Um, <laughs> and what I want you to do is I want you to remember this man came from basically having nothing to uh, having something and uh, definitely brought his ability to do makeup creation even when he was a teenager, okay, was his way of expressing himself. So his cosmetics are a way to express his emotions, have a memory with something. And, you know, if a person doesn't like that, I don't think he lets it get under his skin anymore. I remember the good old days, my space and Jeff. Um, I know a lot of people don't believe me that I used to talk to Jeff, but hey, it is what it is. He doesn't remember a lot of people because, you know, he shut a lot of people out and just decided to go on with life in general. And, you know, I don't blame him for that. I'm kind of scrubbing that dry. Um, I don't blame him with that. I've done that before. 
um, shut out the negative to bring in the positive. That's what we need to do. And I hope you positively enjoyed this look. It is a blending of different colors to make something so iconic. On the eye, on the lip, on the cheek. Um, absolutely, I'm buying that new cremated palette. Um, in the future, I may actually buy a couple of more. We'll see what happens because that would be an awesome giveaway. Tell me that would not be an awesome giveaway. Yeah, I feel like I'm from the crow. <laughs> this kind of look for me, yes or no? You guys probably know because that's too scary. <laughs> and I wouldn't blame you. I'm not going to hate, just appreciate, because I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed, so you thought I boo-booed right there. <laughs> and remember, I am going to do this. Even a nerd <laughs> has a gothic side. <laughs> Most nerds are goth. Um, so... I know I've been meaning to do a sewing show. It's still sitting over there. Um, but this candle. Oh my gosh, my room smells like really soft roses. With some vanilla. And you know, I'm appreciating this candle. It's very relaxing. Um, so Sun City Soaps and Candles will be right here. Probably at the beginning of the video. And um, until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and my winners should be receiving tomorrow and Wednesday. Check your mailboxes for those. And you all have a great week.